Hey sci-fi and fantasy fans, this is Dan here with Two Beer Book Reviews, and uh, I got a sci-fi book haul for you guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, so, you know, following suit with Sci-Fi Month, like this is this is a heavy Sci-Fi Month for me. You know, I'm, I uh, finished up Demon in White. Uh, Red Lesser Devil, uh, Kingdoms of Death by Chris. So all Christopher Rocchio books. Listening to Hyperion Cantos, uh, or Hyperion by Dan Simmons. So you know, I thought I'd follow up with a sci-fi book haul. Um, so yeah, again, guys, you know, if you like the book hauls, you like these other videos I'm making, um, you know, please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, we're we're like getting up to the thousand subscriber mark. We're getting there close. Uh, you know, I have that thousand subscriber giveaway for Empire of Silence. So if you're interested in getting that book, you know, the biggest way to enter to get that book is to, it's going to be a little bit different, um, to get Empire of Silence, obviously you have to hit a thousand subscribers. You have to be obviously subscribed to the channel and, um, to, for this one, you'd have to join the discord channel and, uh, hit me up on the discord in the, the sun eater section of the discord. So, it's gonna be a little bit different. I know I've I've said you know please you know like comment and subscribe, but uh, it'd be easier if I can talk to you guys in the the Discord with this one so I can get the book to you. So uh, that is gonna be the conditions for for getting that. So uh, I got a lot of books in this sci-fi book haul. How many do I got here? Like six, seven, ten, probably like fourteen books. And I got some really good feedback on one of my last book hauls. Is you know it's, it's good to show you the books, but why did I buy it? <laughs> so and uh you know what are the plans for reading that i'm not going to talk about because like holy cow like I, my tbr is like a million miles long um i'll have to like <laughs> go into cryonic fugue or something like that to like uh, well that wouldn't help me for reading these books but anyways um let's start cracking on with some of the books i'm going to break it down into a, f a few sections here of the books i got so um maybe we won't start with like we, we won't start with the true sci-fi so let's let's get into these uh these books the first two books are from uh, one of my favorite authors of all time is michael crichton and uh this book i i got because you know i've never seen a copy of it like this and it's the great train robbery uh, by michael crichton i just love the artwork on that it's got you know like the train and like it's just full art all the way around absolutely gorgeous uh, michael crichton's one of my favorite authors uh he's the inventor of the techno thriller so saw it i was like yeah like i don't need it but it was like i got it at a goodwill for like a dollar so i was like you know what I, i'm not gonna pass it i'm not gonna pass it out for a dollar because i i have it the great train robbery but it's in like a, a collection of three so just finding this book was really cool so the next michael crichton is jurassic park <laughs> so uh this was actually on book outlet um i saw this i had a I had some book outlet credits, like I had some like money on book outlet because I, I got a refund, and um, I saw this. This came up; it was like four dollars on book outlet. It's like this faux leather, but it's actually like really kind of nice. Um, don't ask me how many copies of Jurassic Park I own. Um, it's four. I own four, <laughs> so this is number four. As I have the I have the uh, the Folio Society. This one, I have the original 19, like original hardcover Jurassic Park, and then I have a paperback downstairs. So, yeah, I know it's it's a bit bad, but whatever. Don't judge me. Um, so the next one is the Dune graphic novel. I I saw this. This was a steal. Like so, this is I think this is going to be done in three parts, um, and I think the second part comes out uh, in the spring. So um, this one I actually got at a thrift store uh, I think I spent like maybe $12 on it and it's a heck of a steal I love Dune Dune's one of my favorite books and so just to get in like an illustrated graphic novel like heck yeah like heck yeah <laughs> so um, that was that and then following on with Dune I got Chapter House Dune I got this hard cover here uh, again got it at a used bookstore all the ones I got I got them in like this you know they're protected which is kind of nice so yeah, really like this beautiful cover. I love this uh, this older cover art. Uh, I do need it. I need a chapter house. So getting chapter house, I was like super pumped that I uh, I got it. So excited to read that eventually. I know chapter house and like heretics are seen as like the weaker Dune books in the in the six, but 
whatever I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it and like, i'll try it like i don't know when i'm gonna get back around to dune i do need i actually don't have a copy of dune messiah that's what i still need to get um i found every other dune but dune messiah so and my my dune collection is like a hodgepodge which is fine like you know you can have little hodgepodge mixes so uh the next two books are by alistair reynolds uh, so the blue remembered earth. This is kind of cool. I like his covers like even though they're spaceships and spaceships They're really hard to relate to um, I think it's really nice like I like the I like that cover and then the next one is Chasm City this thing's huge look how big this is like a tray like it's bigger than my head like <laughs> it's it's a big boy um, I've got a lot of Alistair Reynolds and I mainly just been talking to, like Jonathan over at uh, words in time I'll put a link to his channel below and I've watched a lot of his Alistair Reynolds review, and I'm like, this is a this is an author I, I know I need to read. Um, I'm just kind of slowly collecting them as I see them because like both these books I got from a Value Village for like two dollars, so it's like I'm not I'm not in for it for much. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be um, to be reading some of his books. I'm just gonna do a bit more research on where I should start with his books because I think I have like four or five now. I, I got a few from Ralph in my big book haul. So, um, yeah, so we'll see. So moving on. I got the first book, Foundation, by Isaac, Isaac Asimov. Uh, I haven't read Foundation. I need to read it. It's, it seems fairly short, you know, a couple hundred pages. It's not too bad. Um, my friends have been raving about the show on Apple TV. I don't own Apple TV, and I, I, I haven't watched it. I, I don't know if I will get around to watching it just because I'm not a big show person. So, yeah, like, that one was a cool find. Um I just, I, if I think it's if I like it, I gotta go find the other ones, which is gonna be a pain. So, next one is Star Wars. I found these original Star Wars. Uh, I have I have read this before. I had a copy, but I, I got rid of it when I moved to England, and uh, I thought this was just really cool. I like the, the artwork on it, so I probably won't read it again. It's just one for the shelf, um, just because, like, you know, it's Star Wars. Like the old the, this is the original trilogy not the the new crap that's out today <laughs> so uh this next one i'm gonna get heat from you guys on because i uh i hated the first book in the series but i saw it and it was a dollar and i was like oh maybe if i read the second book and i like it i might uh ever get to this so it's it's dark age by pierce brown i i'm fully expecting that i'm gonna donate this back but i got it for a buck so like what the hell like uh, I know, like, Andrews Wizardly Reed said, like, he hated that book, so good for him, um, first of all, <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding, like, you know, we'll see, like, I don't know why I bought it, my wife said, she's like, why'd you buy that, I'm like, I don't know, like, it was a buck, like, cheaper than a coffee, so, <laughs> so, whatever, um, so these next three, these last three books are kind of cool. So if you remember from my my big book haul from Ralph, I got the um, the Gap series by Stephen R. Donaldson, and I was missing everything but the second book. So I got you know one, uh, three, four, five, didn't get the second book, and I found this in hardcover uh, while I was out thrifting, and I actually found it with um, you know the Great Train Robbery. So I was like, whoa, this is kind of cool to get. So. Um, this series I heard is amazing. There was one YouTuber I used to watch. I think it was like a uh, man carrying thing. I haven't, I don't watch him now. Um, cause he went a little like, like too silly for me, but he did recommend this series and this, it is a series I'm interested in reading, um, at some point. So last one or second last one, sorry, is Firefly Generations. I saw this, uh, you know, I'm a Firefly flan fan. Uh, I, uh, I like Firefly. And uh, this is actually a beautiful, beautiful copy that I got. Like, it's, you know, it's got like this faux kind of like leather texture. Looks really nice. It's got like a ribbon in it. So I just thought this was a beautiful copy, like a beautiful book. And, uh, you know, I like Firefly. I like uh, that show. So maybe the book will be good or maybe it's trash. Who knows? But um, we'll find out. Like, I think I got this again at the Valley Village for like two ninety nine. dollars So beautiful book. Give it a shot. So, the last one. This is a hell of a find, guys. Um, it's an Adrian Tchaikovsky book, and it's called Walking to Alderbaran. And on the inside, I will show you. It is 
Signed. It's a signed Adrian Tchaikovsky and it's one of a thousand copies. There's actually a certificate of authenticity that came with it. And I got this for uh, $2 at a Goodwill. <laughs> so, you know, a diamond in a picture. I just walked in, found a signed limited edition uh, Adrian Tchaikovsky book. So, yeah, again, just got like a horseshoe factory up my butt. Just super lucky. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how I get so lucky. Um, I mean, well, mainly because I go. I just go regularly to my thrift store, just walk in, have a little mosey around, you know. Like, doo -doo -doo, yeah. And I was thinking, guys, I, I'd get your opinion on this. If this is something you'd be interested in, is me filming going to a bookstore or going to a used bookstore um, and showing you my process for finding books and, like, you know, what I what I go for on the hunt that day. Let me know. Comment below if you would like, if that's something, a video you would like to see, just... You know, me walking around uh, looking at books in a thrift store or, uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, this is a great sci-fi book haul. I was, I've, I've been collecting these books probably, for, I, I've been collecting these for a while. So this has been about since the new year. Uh, so holding on to these, you know, waiting for sci-fi month, which was February for me. Or, sorry, March with me. So, uh, you know, I, these, I didn't get these all at once. I got these over, you know, several months and, uh. Just got extremely lucky, extremely, extremely lucky, and I'm really happy to share them with you guys. So these are some of these are going to be going on the shelf because they're really cool. And uh, so that's it, guys. That is my sci-fi book haul for the month of March. Um, as always, guys, cheers.